For the past three years, the MVP discussion has been between two people, Nikola Jokic and Joel Embiid. Now, for me personally, if a dude, if a big man personally is leading the league and scoring in back-to-back -back years, you know, counting this year and last year, I feel like he should be the MVP. But I can, I, I can understand how people get caught up because Jokic's been going crazy, but then you got to consider Giannis too. Like, all three of them are good players. But for me personally, like I said, back-to-back -back scoring champion as a big man, that's crazy. That's why I put up that poll for y'all to, like, who y'all think about to win MVP this year because... It could come down to any of them three, but today I'm going to be showing y'all my Joel and B build, and I'm going to be showing y'all a 6'10 version and a 7 foot version, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, of course, for the height, you want to go 6'10, 239 for the weight, 7'8 wingspan. Now, starting off with the finisher, I did go with an 85 close shot, just because I still get all the necessary gold badges that I need to finish under the basket. Plus, y'all know the 85 close shot is good with that gold masher, as y'all see on the screen. It's good for doing them underneath layups. Y'all know how everybody like to just go in the rim and just do standstill layups. That's basically what it's good for. Driving layup, I really didn't upgrade it as much. I only went with a 71 because, as you may know, I am going to be having post take on this build. So, I already got a driving dunk. And plus, how is my standing dunk is, I'm just going to be getting standing dunks most of the time anyway. So, I just went with a low uh, driving layup. And then with a the driving dunk, I went with an 86 because... Joel Embiid, if he got to, he will punch you on your head. And I don't know if y'all noticed, he can windmill. Matter of fact, I'm going to just pop the clip up on the screen. As y'all can see, that windmill is kind of tough. I know it was an open court or kind of, you know what I'm saying? But, hey, it's still a windmill. And then, as y'all may notice, I said I got an 80 standing dunk. So, I'll be able to get the pro contact standing dunks. I think I don't think I can get elite until, like, 90. So, I just went with 80. And then, you already know, if I'm going to have the advanced post mo scoring move, you know, the takeover, I got to have an 85 post control. And then for the shooting, with my mid-range, I went with a 73 because I ain't going to really be shooting mid-ranges on this bill. I mean, probably size post fadeaways, but basically, a 73 mid-range is all I need to hit the post fade, especially with that mini magician badge on. I mean, that mini magician, it do come in clutch. I'm not going to lie. And then, of course, I went with an 82 3 because y'all may know Joel Embiid and I say Anthony Davis, they're kind of like the same player, but even though AD, he's kind of like a more of a mid-range shooter and Joel Embiid plays in the post more but they both good from the mid-range but i feel like they both shoot the same about from the three even though joel may be shooting it a little bit better this year so that's why i went with a high 82 three and then for the playmaking i went with a 75 pass actually just because that's the minimum that everybody uses on the game you know what i'm saying to throw at least decent passes and then i went with a 75 ball handle reasons why is because i don't know but joel and b he kind of got a crazy handle to him like matter of fact as the one y'all seeing on the screen, y'all see that? Like, he kind of did like a hezzy between the legs, double step back, like kind of James Harden style. Like, that That was kind of tough. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't know he really had handles like that, but hey, that's crazy. And then I went with a 65 uh, sweep with ball just so I can get, uh, I think his dribble style, like his pro dribble style, I think that's why I went with that. I don't know. I gotta go back and look if, that, if that's the case. But yeah, I still get gold unpluckable. I only get bronze quick first step but hey that's all right with me killer combos bronze clamp breaker i mean we're gonna be taller than mostly everybody anyway so ain't no point of worrying about that but yeah we still get all the necessary badges that i need so for the defense i went with an 88 interior just so i can get post lockdown on gold 70 perimeter defense because you know he could guard the perimeter a little bit you know so i went with a 70 perimeter 45 still you know i really ain't gonna be guarding ball so it's a Joel and B bill. I really ain't gonna get no steal. I went with an 80 block because y'all know he protects the rim, and then we get gold chase down for that. But we only get bronze anchor, which is crazy because if I had 87, you know, y'all know what it is. You know, certain attributes I can't upgrade all the way, so I just went with an 80 block. You know, I really don't need silver anchor, but it comes in handy. Then I went with a 50 offensive rebound and an 85 defensive rebound, but I still get rebound chase on silver. And then as you can see for the badge count on this build, it's 23, 18, 14, and 18. Now, probably what I'm going to do with my six extra badges, I think I'm going to put two on my defense, two on my uh, shooting, so that way it'll be 23, 20, and 20. And then I'll probably put the other two on playmaker, so it'll be 20, 20, 16, and 20. And that's a pretty solid badge count to me. Now, with Joel and B, you can go with any of these post takeovers, and you can also go with any of the rim protector uh, takeovers, you know what I'm saying? And you could probably throw in some shot creating, you know, in there too, because he do be doing some little side steps and step backs. But for the most part, I went with advanced post moves and paint intimidation. Build name, you can see you built a two-way inside out score. And as you can see on the screen, Joel and B is the first one that comes up, which is what we want. Now I'm going to be showing y'all the seven-foot version of this build. 
Now for the seven foot build, instead of maxing my wingspan out, I only went with a seven six wingspan. But as you can see by the finishing, you already can tell that our finishing is a little bit better just because we have we upgraded our driving layup even more to 80 and then our close shot is at a 90 and then you can see we get one more badge point for finishing but we still get all the same badges on gold and some on hall of fame that you need and then for the shooting you can see on the screen that i went with more mid-range than three-pointer because like i said him and ad works in a mid-range game like they mid-range game is underrated to me because that's basically where they score most of their points from so i went with 85 mid-range and only a 77 three-pointer which is good because you still can shoot consistent on this game with a 77 three now, the only thing is between this build and the other build you don't get dead out on silver on the last build you got dead out on silver because we had over we had an 82 three-pointer we only got a 77 but that shouldn't really matter and for the playmaking on this build you can see i went with less speed with ball and only a 55 ball handle but we still get the same pass actually because like i said you gotta have passing on your build but we still get gold unpluckable but that doesn't even matter because everybody gets ripped on this game even with gold unpluck unpluckable and gold vice grips like it's, i don't know what to tell you and then for the defense our interior defense drops from 88 to 80 so we don't get post lockdown on gold we get it on silver this time only get a 50 perimeter 33 steel but we also get an 87 block and remember i was telling you on that last build we didn't get an 87 block so we couldn't get silver anchor now we get silver anchor with the gold chase down and then i went with a little bit more offensive rebound with a 60 and then an 80 defensive rebound so it's still about the same stats only difference is we don't we get silver anchor and we don't get gold post lockdown and then, like I said, for the 610 version, you can go with any of the post uh, move takeovers, you know what I'm saying? You know, power back downs. I basically, for a Joel and B build, it'll basically be power back downs so either advanced post moves. And then for the secondary takeover, you know, you can go with any of these glass takes, any of the rim protector takes. And like I said, if they had shot creating for a seven footer, I, I even go with that, you know what I'm saying? But spot up precision would be good too. And then for the build name, you get an inside the arc score. Now, let me know in the comments what version y'all rather have. Y'all rather have a 610 build or the 7 foot build. Y'all let me know down below. But hey, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy DJ, and I'm out.